Welcome back, everyone. Last time, we did the Forest Fallen Giants. I had that in two parts, part one and part two. Last time, we beat the boss, and we got the Ring of Restoration, and a uh, couple other things. Not much. I didn't talk to her last time, so I'm showing you now that she's back here now, and she sells infinite life gems, and like infinite fire bombs, witching urns, throwing knives, all that. So that is an option if you need any of that stuff, you can go talk to her. But I'm gonna go back to Forest Fallen Giants this time because we've got another boss that we can get ready to do. Again, kill this guy. You can see the mace just does so much more damage. Mm, you know what? Before we do the boss, this door, I tried beating on it and opening it in part one. And I showed you that it didn't work and do that you need the key so this guy here he's just a little he's a shade or you know a phantom they're called shades if they're it's the small sign but he casts some light to help you see and uh he also clears out a few enemies i'm just going to use him to get through this area a little bit because he's there he's a computer, and he'll be there every time and this next area is kind of difficult so, if you were doing this, you would want to summon him. So that's why I'm bringing him along. I probably could go through here on my own, but I'd risk dying. So I'm not going to do that. But you can see this mace is just absolutely devastating. And so is his magic, I guess, to skeletons. Just, it completely destroys them. One power attack, boom. So, I'm already liking this weapon a lot. We want to come up here, and you're going to see a lot of these ironclad guys. There's three of them up here. There's gun on barrels like that, that they can hit, and you can use to uh, damage them. There's a bunch of items up here, but hopefully your dude makes it up here. Now, being a distracting I'm going to fight this one. Kind of hold his own. He's getting knocked back, and that's not good. But he seems to be able to really stay alive. Well, we got him, and boom! This mace is just wrecking him. Love it. And pick up some stuff. There's a whip. The whip's not that great, but it's one that you can't get anywhere else couple other things. You can run and jump and you might be able to get a plunging attack there. It's easier to jump from there, but you can jump across after you go down the ladder. What you want to do is quickly get over here and grab this armor. It's in a wooden chest for some reason isn't a smart decision, but this invader here, he's a computer, and if you're human, he's gonna come in here and beat on you. I'm gonna, like, try and not die. A lot of people don't like this guy, because he's kind of tough. try to shield bash you too, so you just gotta be careful. Take one of these. That hurt him a lot. Oh. The thing about the shield bash is that it's very slow, so you can really get caught. Ooh, wow. And I'm dead. 
magic is just awful. <laughs> Super devastating. It's better to actually get him to do the sword stuff like I was doing, but that magic blast I was not expecting. I'm gonna pop another effigy. I don't like looking hollow. There is a ring later that'll make you look human even when you're hollow. And there is another ring that reduces the effect that hollowing does when it drains your health. We're gonna get that really soon. Maybe not in this video, but definitely soon. I'm summoning him. Run over here, and I guess I didn't pick up anything because I was too busy showing off my mace. Still love. Oh wow. It didn't even hit me. Back down here, there's another item. Stupid skeleton. Wow. He's got some really powerful magic. I mean, these aren't just skeletons, so they're not that strong, but still, torch. Okay, no, nothing really important here. Back out this door. Run up here again, I guess. That guy's gone. Wow. <laughs> He's gone. There goes my phantom. Well, shade. Kill this guy. Run and jump. The landing again. Beat on him. I'm human again, so I'm going to get invaded again. But he comes from this room. Let's see if I can get little early on him. You can't you can't hit him early, but I was I didn't know how long it would take for him to get in here. Stupid spells. Beat on him again. Boom. It's up really quick. Jeez. Stop blocking. only get that if you get him like perfectly front so do that and hit him again they're done he won't come back he deserves that <laughs> human effigy so i replaced the one i lost and you're gonna get that every time you kill an invader computer human whatever you're gonna get a human effigy so from here, I picked up a couple good items and picked up some armor, but I'm gonna rest and pick up some more stuff. Kill this guy. Firebomb. I already got this armor. I go this way. Ooh. Oh, at least I got the big guy. Amber herb and green blossom. Oh, that's okay. Let's just avoid these guys. Run up the ladder for safety. They can't climb, so and that's where they came from. They ran from up here down here. So Let's see if we can uh, get them to fall off or something. Get them away from here. Maybe run back across here. Sometimes the AI gets uh, stupid and will run off the edge coming to get you. I can't get him to come after me. Except that one's beating down the door. Uh, I don't think they're gonna do it. If I can just get one. Moving 
against each other. Can't really do anything about this. No. Oh, is that guy coming? Yeah, he's coming. Watch out. Those two are separated from this third guy. Maybe I can get this third guy. thing when you're in combat, fighting a whole bunch of enemies like this, these guys are slow and powerful, so take it slow, focus your attacks, try to deal with all the weaker guys that you can, see if you can kill them, and just like that, there's like no danger, how quick this game changes. You can go from not being attacked for five minutes to just getting absolutely destroyed. I'm gonna run back here. I guess all that worked for a human effigy. Oh well. In the end, I still gained a human effigy, killing the phantom and picking that one up, so that's nice. And we'll go back to the bonfire. But I wanted to get over here because this area we're going to come back to later, probably. And we picked up an armor set. Which is in a wooden chest, which isn't the wisest thing, because if wooden chests are destroyed by your attacks or enemy attacks, then you pick up rubbish instead of the armor or weapon or item that's inside. So... That whole entire armor set could have been lost if some dude was just attacking me and hit the chest. Could have all turned to rubbish, so that's not good. That's why I always go over there and grab it first, even if the invader is coming in, because I don't want to lose that. It's not great, but it is kind of lightweight, and it is another armor set we just don't have right now. At least, I don't. stubby range on this mace. The good thing about it is these shields that they have suck, and this mace it does pretty good damage, so you can actually out damage what they can block. Where'd you come from? Where are you going? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, bye then. Whatever. come up here, it's the last spot you'll use the key for, meet these new guys, and they have armor and a weapon that you can get. I think you can buy the weapon, but the armor is unique to them, and you can only buy the weapon later, but, so if you really want their stuff, you can farm them for a while. We're gonna run into a whole area for these guys guys with the metal armor though, so I wouldn't really farm them, because there's going to be plenty later. Deal with these guys. Jumping attacks. It's an attack I don't usually do, but sometimes it has an advantage like that. But after picking up the stuff, that is a boss fight. It's not like a trick fog. So I'm going to go in here and watch a cutscene. Sewer. So, you may remember from the first video that this guy was flying in. I said you could kill him and you wouldn't have to do a boss fight later. He's technically optional, but you can't continue going this way if you don't need him. And you kind of want the stuff when you go this way. You can parry him, 
It's really not advised. I'm getting my butt handed to me right now. And it's worth mentioning that there is more than just him. So we're going to run across this guy pretty frequently, actually. Maybe not this specific one, but a lot of different pursuers out there. That flask did almost nothing. Just trying to heal, that way I can go back to my normal routine. So what's unique about this fight is that these ballistas back here, or ballistae, whatever you want to call them, can actually be used against the boss. And he can destroy them, so you want to try and keep them away like I haven't been. But if you can line him up with one of them and parry him, you can actually fire, run around and fire the ballista in time to damage him. It actually does significant damage, like more than half his health. Let's see if I can do that. If you have a friend, if you summon a friend or even a random person for this fight, somebody distract him and somebody get to the ballista, and usually just team up and distract him. But see there, that's all it takes. Seventeen thousand souls and a ring and his soul. Boss souls we can use to make special weapons, boss weapons. And uh, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're just kind of unique little trinkets. So, um, sometimes they're not even weapons, they can be stuff. In Dark Souls 3, they could be items, rings and stuff. Another winged spear, that's the third one. It's crazy. And, uh, his ring, Ring of Blades, increases your physical damage. So, you want to wear that for a little while anyway. That's a whole armor set we just picked up there. I'm going to fight this guy, though. Maybe. Yeah, why not? Oh, wow. There's that guy again. He's just running around here like crazy. Come on, get back here. Oh, now he's wisened up. He's actually attacking. That's so weird. I've never seen that guy before run around like that. Anyway, we picked up some good armor. And, uh, we're going to be able to probably equip some of that. I don't have very heavy stuff. That's the leather armor we picked up from that wooden chest. It's not bad. Kind of lightweight, that's why you might wear it. Leather boots and stuff. Weighs a lot less than what I'm wearing, but doesn't have very good defense. Leather gloves. Weighs a lot less. Not as much defense. You can get a hat. A hunter's hat. It's also Ferris's hat from the first game. I don't really like it though, so I'm, I'm probably not going to wear that. But this normal leather stuff is actually pretty good. It's not much worse than the hard leather stuff. That's the Dranglick mail we just picked up from falling down that hole. You get a cape, which is awesome. It's heavy, really heavy. And uh, maybe we'll wear the leggings instead. Leather armor isn't much worse than the hard leather armor. I'm just going to wear the hard leather armor because I kind of like the look a little more. And the pursuer's eagle is just going to fly you away to the next location. Now we're at the Lost Bastille. We're gonna get a bonfire instantly for going this way. And the reason why you want to come over here is because of these two metal chests. 
don't fight the pursuer, you can't get these. There's no way to get here. Human effigy times two. Not that great. But still. And the doll ember. That's the real reason you want to be here. And I'm going to show why at some point. Maybe I'll go do that now. A lot of times when I get here, I like to go and unlock another blacksmith and give him this dull ember. That's what you do. Because it allows you to actually buy stuff from him, and he sells infinite uh, large titanite shards for upgrading your weapon to, like, plus seven or something like that. Kill this guy with the crossbow. Push this back. That explosion will kill everything in that room there. As long as they were within the blast radius. These undead dogs are annoying. They've been annoying in 1, and they're annoying in this game, and they're not quite as annoying in Dark Souls 3, but... Yeah. So we're going to open up this chest. You probably just heard that wind, because there's another pursuer. So for Serpent Ring, Fragrant Branch of your human energy. Get to that a little later because I want to fight this guy. So this pursuer is all red and glowy, and he's fuming black smoke. Now the normal pursuer fight that we just did, he can get like that, and what happens when he gets like that is he does some different attacks. He gets like some ranged dark magic attacks, which aren't very fun to deal with. Ooh, ow. I think he's also more powerful. Things like that, so... You kinda just take your time. Honestly, he seems easier than the boss fight we just did, so he's not too bad. And this right here... Only does that when he's all black and smoky like that. But if you get behind him, it's a good time to attack him. And you get a lot of souls for it. And a twinkling type knight, which is kind of rare. And you can't buy them, really, later in the game, so getting those and saving them up for only what you are really sure you want to upgrade is kind of worth it. If you don't want to fight him, you don't have to. You can just run back in the room and he'll go away. You can also just run up this ladder and continue this way. I'm really happy I chose the mace because the mace is actually pretty strong. Don't attack her. She's standing there not attacking you, so don't attack her. Antiquated key, that's kind of nice. I don't know you, and you things are better that way. <laughs> Normally, people keep a safe distance when they say, I'm called Luke, from the land of Mira to the far east. They say Drang Lake, but, and so I came to thought of, You are an odd one indeed. We're going to skip a lot of her dialogue, but she's a very interesting character. She's a swordsman, or swordswoman, or whatever, from Mira, and she is kind of like your Solaire from the first game. She'll occasionally be found at different spots, and she'll help you out with boss battles. I think there's four different bosses she'll help out with, and you have to summon her at three of them to do her quest completely. She's going to be kind of helpful. I'm just using my frickin' stamina up way too fast, though, in these videos. Going back and watching some of these, because I'm doing a voiceover after I play the game. So I'm not actually voicing while I'm playing the game, so... This... I'm going back and watching some of these, and it's kind of crazy. I'm just spending so much stamina with my swords, because this is the mace, and the mace... Bunch. 
I'm not used to that. But it goes, it, it does really good damage, so. You gotta stop being so reckless. Pick up my souls. Pick up a common fruit, which really isn't that useful. I'm gonna kill this guy who killed me last time with that fireball. Down here, to the left is this item, hide resin. It's actually kind of nice. With this guy, you want to get him walking and then walk away, because you want him to not be near that barrel. You want to make sure that barrel stays intact, because it's your way to the blacksmith. You can get there another way, but you want to roll it down here. And a lot of times it bounces off in a funny way and it's kind of stuck down here. So I'm going to try and push it back. If you do it right, the barrel should just hit the wall and explode. But I've always struggled with this. It just always bounces off the wall because you got to you got to push it at kind of an angle cuz the stairs are kind of funny. get over here I'm just gonna really run it oh wow that helped you get it over to the crack in the wall here if you have fire arrows or the fire longsword which you should have if you've been following the videos you can actually use that to blow up this barrel here but it's kind of worth it to get it in here because there's a bonfire switch back to my mace. You can rest, you can heal up, teleport everything. Nothing can really get you in here so long as you don't leave here. And there's our blacksmith. What we want to do is you want to light a torch. You want to light this. And then you want to rest again. Resting resets everything, so he actually moves to there now. You can get all these wooden chests. It's not stealing or anything, so don't worry about it. Night night shard. That's good. Iron arrows. Those are okay. Heavy bolt. That's all right. Craftsman's hammer and twinkling titanite. And that's the one he was sitting on. Keep talking to him. He keeps talking about flame. And you can give him the dull ember that we just picked up, and that allows you to actually go in and use him as a shopkeeper. And he sells one of these very unique weapons. Only one of each, though. Like, one of these shields. And the shield's actually not bad. It's, uh, pretty good, actually. I'm probably gonna buy that. Wing Spear. You can buy that here. I got three of them. A Katana, which is a new type of weapon we haven't discovered. But I'm gonna go to Medulla. Probably spend these souls, level up, do something with it. So what the Emerald Herald is doing now is, I want to say I heard that that's a call back to Demon Souls. I haven't played Demon Souls, but she does this little, this little foot kick thing. I heard it's kind of rare. I usually have it happen to me about one every 10 or 12 times I get to Majula. So I don't think it's that rare, but some people hadn't even seen that ever. So I thought I'd show that off. Because uh, apparently it's kind of unique. 
I'm glad. I'm go over here. Probably buy some of this armor. Why not? Trying to get to that 20,000 soul mark. I don't think I'm going to spend all 20,000 right now. The soldier armor is not bad. Maybe I'll buy, buy these gauntlets. Uh, you know what? I'll just buy all of it. Why not? Thanks. Should be close to that 20,000 soul mark, but we'll get there eventually. That elite knight armor is really good. Talk to her. Probably level there up a couple times curse. here. Seek, seek, Probably more, actually. Only costs like a thousand some souls, thirteen hundred ish, to level up. It goes up every time you level up, but we're getting. This isn't Dark Souls one or three, where it's like a thousand to level up to start. This elite knight armor is pretty heavy, but I might wear that actually. One of these, uh, these gloves aren't that great. Wearing my gauntlets. Sure. Now I'm wearing those leggings and the gauntlets and some heavy elite knight armor. Elite Knight leggings aren't that great, but now I'm gonna have some heavier armor here. It's kind of nice. So, don't know why I ran back there. Maybe I thought he would move positions or something, but I don't think so. I think we're going to call that good for this video. Just a quick run through of the Pursuer boss and a new blacksmith. And in the next video, we'll cover a lot more. So, see you then.